Previously on In My 20s, I showed you guys what I do when Ryan is gone filming the Penny series, and then I got to fly to New York and reunite with him at the finish line, and I was so excited to just go home with him and do our normal mundane little routines together. So that is what this vlog is, what I do when Ryan is home from filming Penny series. <laughs> on most mornings, we go on a run with our friends, and then we go to a coffee shop, and then I take a bath and get ready for the day. Today was actually hair washing day, and if you so happen to be curious, I use the Pureology shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo, and then I use the Soul de Janeiro conditioner because the scent is so good. Good morning, girly pops. We're taking care of this little dog. It looks just like Spock, so it's been like a funny simulation of what it would be like to have two Spocks. But they're a needy breed, so both of them needing me is a little bit, a little chaos, but he's really sweet. I did my morning run. We went to a coffee shop, have our little morning meeting. It's not an actual meeting, we're just getting coffee, but we do end up usually talking about something work-related or life-related, <laughs> obviously. Uh, life related is the most broad thing in the entire world. I'm in the middle of filming a reading vlog. I have a meeting today. Ryan is at an appointment. It's called an Arosti. It's like a chiropractor massage therapist mix, I think. I need to go drop off a sample of something to the vet. You can guess what it is. It usually happens outside. And then we have an in-person meeting today with a bunch of our YouTube friends here about all of our YouTube channels because we are each other's coworkers, analyzing each other's YouTube channels. It's a funny time but it's also really fun. So let's get this day started. About to join this meeting with a brand and I always find little Zoom meetings so awkward. So wish me luck. The call was only eight minutes. So that's awesome. And I just wrote the loose script for the TikTok and sent it to them. The TikTok will be about coffee. So you'll see that in the future. But now I have like 15 minutes before we go to the coffee shop for the next meeting. And Ryan's right there editing some shorts. Hey. Usually he's upstairs in his office, but he just gave away one of his desks. So we're really co-working. We work. We work vibes for free. Two Two people on their computers and two chihuahuas running around. What's he eating? Look how funny they are. Hi, Pookaloos. Are you guys brothers? He goes so still when you hold him. He's like the chillest guy in the world, but he also looks like confused a lot of the time. Just got a refill of the Nespresso pods I use. These are double espresso chiaro. I think it's just a double shot. And then I just use creamer and nothing else, which I think is called a short latte. I'm not sure though. the pookaloo so they don't leave. Okay. You may be wondering why that furniture is leaving our household and this may be a jump scare but we're actually moving and I just haven't had an opportunity to really talk about it because I've been making so many book videos but we should be able to move in this week I think so we're just kind of moving in slowly just taking a little bit of furniture over there building some new furniture and I need to pack up all my clothes and things but I'm gonna have a library. I'm so excited we've moved a lot in the past four years but hopefully this is the last time. Hopefully when we move in here, we don't even think about moving for a few years at least. I don't know how much you'll get to see in this vlog because I don't know how much we're gonna be moving in, but that's the update. We're so excited. Mwah. Pookies! Also, I'm trying to eat vegetables. This is a Brussels sprout. This is me eating a Brussels sprout, watch. This one I didn't like as much. Probably the last one I'll be eating for the day. So they just left to go build furniture at the new place. But I am in the middle of making a reading vlog. So I'm gonna do a little bit of editing to see where I'm at. And then I'm going to continue reading this book for that video. And then I should be able to go over there and help them build furniture. Are you playing octopus? Good, how are you? I'm gonna go help the crew build furniture. This is my furniture building outfit. I visited them and I conveniently was there when the furniture was basically finished, but <laughs> it looks so good. I'm getting so excited, but I got a little package from Abercrombie because we're going on a little vacation. What is this? <gasps> a pair of pants. Wait, I'm so happy. These said back ordered after I ordered them, but they came in anyways. Cute. They're black linen pants. They had an option for short people. Dang it, it's still a little long. What the heck? I'm gonna need the extra petite. <laughs> I just got asked out on a date tonight. <laughs> 
buy movie tickets. I was a little starstruck when he asked me. I'm not gonna lie. Hey guys. Hey. How long has it been since you got home? It has been nine days. Dang, has it been nine? I know. We kind of. How? Wait. Yeah. I don't know how. Oh, oh whole family. Hi, Papa. This little guy too. Just a little guest for now. A couple pookalies in the house. How you felt this time since coming home? It's been really fun. I feel like we've we've been oh. very busy, but not work busy. You know. But kind of resetting. Yeah. I actually don't feel as mentally exhausted. Obviously, because the last year was 30 days, this year was seven days. But yeah, I still, I feel very inspired. I don't feel like I'm exhaling, I feel like I'm inhaling creatively, mentally, energy-wise. How do you feel? I feel good. You feel different? Yeah, I'm excited to move and go on vacation. <laughs> yeah, we're so blessed. <laughs> and taking care of this pukaloo has been fun. I know, he's definitely made so our days fun. So cute. He's so excited to be up here right now. I know. I'm gonna speed run chores, watch this. Oh, neighbor. Ryan and I went on a run this morning. We both did four miles, which is really hard for me, but I did it. I'm training for a half marathon, which will be a whole different video. Then we came home, he played some video games. I did my reading as we usually do. We are the perfect match for sitting on the couch and enjoying each other's presence, but not really interacting with each other. But I think I'm going to actually start packing up my closet and moving some clothes. But honestly, I'm gonna have to do a bit of decluttering before I move clothes to the new house, so. I'm just gonna be doing a bit of all of that today. This is what we're working with, folks. It's not looking good. I just moved all of those things to the other place, but I didn't really unbox any of it, but it's progress nonetheless. I feel less overwhelmed the more that I chip away. But I got some packages there. I got the rest of my Abercrombie order. I'm so excited for this top. I got this cloth linen top. I think there's matching pants. Maybe I already opened the matching pants. I got this dress. Ooh, it looks cute. I hope. And I got two pairs of jean shorts, which I only, I think I only own two pairs of jean shorts that Fit, but one of them I have to use a shoelace to tie and I'm really hoping that these shorts I don't need a shoelace to tie in the back because it looks so silly on me. Okay, a pair of black ones. Wait, these look so cute. I'm gonna try these. I on. got a size down from what I usually get. So we'll see Light wash ones. I'm gonna try these on. I think these are perfect I don't think a pair of jeans has fit my waist in so long because I either get too big or too small These I'm not that excited about. Should I return them? <sighs> I hate returning things. So dramatic. I changed because I am hot and sweaty. I also got some some earrings, so I don't even know what this brand is. Jack Maria? I don't know. I wanted some like everyday things to wear because I was playing frisbee while wearing my normal earrings and then one of them fell out, so let me try these on real quick. Okay, I'll put them in. I like it. I wonder if the third one is a bit much. Cute, I like it. I am attempting to make dinner tonight. This never happens. So good. You're not lying. Mm mm. Great job. Mm. Mm hmm. Aren't the tortillas so good too? Let's go. Let's make this uh, a habit. Oh. That can make you do the craziest things. Yeah. I did and I did and I. I did. I can't stop crying about dogs dying. <laughs> no dogs died. I know, but they can. <laughs> it's the fact that they can. Is it not? I'm trying to build a pant hanger. It would allow you to have more pant. Haley's getting the, the big closet. So I'm gonna be efficient. What do you think about that? I just think it's what's best, you know? Yeah. Like men are supposed to be minimalist and women, Maximum. it's just optional. <laughs> we created the pant machine. Whoa. Cool. So that you can maximize your pant. Mm -hmm. 
We spent the rest of our Sunday relaxing at home. I uploaded a reading vlog on my second channel and then we ordered takeout and continued watching quarterbacks on Netflix. It's so good. Ryan is obsessed with football and honestly watching the show has gotten me a lot more invested. So boyfriends out there, this is a good hack. Make her watch quarterbacks and she'll fall in love with Patrick Mahomes. And then on Monday, I decided to be a real adult and go return things because I'm so bad at returning. But I actually did to the Abercrombie store and then I ended up getting my money back and then buying two things that were on sale. It's Monday now. I don't even want to say this. Pookie's gonna get picked up in like two hours and I'm so sad. I only took care of him for like a week. But I fell in love with him. But I'll still take care of him if our friend goes on vacation again, so. It's okay, he'll come back. But Spock got to learn what it was like to live with another dog. I didn't know if Spock could handle it, but he did a really good job. I think he actually enjoyed it. They're both just needy, as you can see, so. <laughs> It'll be a relief for Spock, probably. When he's just an only child again, but this little puppy is so cute. I've spent like the whole morning editing. Ryan's upstairs editing a new thing for Penny series that they just decided on, which is gonna be really exciting. And then we have ultimate frisbee tonight. It's frisbee time. We did this hairstyle for not the first time, but this is the most serious I've ever looked for a frisbee match. We wear jerseys, so it'll be ruined anyways, but cute little matching set from Aloe. My brooks that are super dusty from the trail. Frisbee was so fun last night. I'm pretty sore, but I felt really good yesterday from my running training. So I'm supposed to run three miles today for half marathon training and we'll see how it goes. But here's my little Aloe. Outfit, and I'm gonna try to run in these hokas today. They're so cute. Good morning. I made my coffee, but now I'm making Ryan's coffee. He has a mocha master, so it's a very different process. First you have to grind the beans. Today was a rest day in terms of running, so I just drank my coffee and read a little bit of my book outside. And for skincare, I thought I'd show y'all because it's just three things that I do. This is my favorite cleanser ever. It's from Youth to the People. And then I was prescribed by a dermatologist, benzoyl peroxide. And then I used the First Aid Beauty moisturizer over top of that because it's just really simple. And then I was cleaning my lashes because I have a lash appointment to go to. I'm on my way this morning to get my lashes done. For vacation, of course, because they look fine, but we're gonna be gone for a second. So I'm gonna get them done. And then I actually have to pick up my wedding ring because I broke it. Ryan took it to the ring store and I have to drive. I'll tell you the story later. Okay, I'm back from lashes. They're looking dramatic right now because I just got out. But as I was saying, I had broken my ring. It's so sad. I just got it back like five seconds ago. It had broken in the back right here and then two little diamonds had fallen out and Ryan brought it to the store and they looked at it and immediately were like, oh, does your wife weight lift? And I do in fact weight lift occasionally. So I guess that's what did it, which makes so much sense. I'm, I feel really stupid for like not thinking about that. But I think I was more scared about losing it, taking it off every time I worked out than like breaking it while working out. It took two and a half years at least to break, which is the upside, I guess, but I will not be wearing it to work out anymore. But I have it back. I haven't worn it in like a few months and I felt naked without it on. So also this necklace that I wear every single day, here's what it looks like up close. I never take it off to work out or shower or anything. And I'm linking it on my Instagram story right now, but I'll link it in this video too, because people will ask me where it's from because I wear it literally every single day and never take it off. And it feels like an accessory with every outfit and I'm wearing a workout dress today which feels very preppy of me I don't know what to do with my body flex for you I guess okay 